So it's fascinating to all of us how slow of a pace Luka Doncic plays at. He's never really in a rush, he's always at his own pace, and he even uses slowness to his advantage. So how does he do all of it? Let's break it down. So number one, just a disclaimer, some of these things won't be very possible at a high school or college level where the court is so condensed. In the league, the court is way more spread out because of the defensive three seconds, the deep three point threat, and really just a lack of help defense. So some of this, you won't see at a lower level. But of course, there are still some really good takeaways here. First off the pick and roll, once he gets that defender on his back, it's easy for him to choose his pace. So right here, for example, it looks like it'd be easy for Kuzma to just speed up and catch up to him. But if that happens, that leaves this open. So with that defender knowing that they can't really jump, Luka's like, hey, feel free to speed up and get back in front of me. If you do that, I'm killing you by decelerating and creating space into that signature step back. And this applies on finishes too, right? Many defenders will make that effort to accelerate and contest that finish, and Luca realizes this. So he'll come to one of these decelerations into that finish, going even slower than he already was, which allows that defender to pass and for him to get a clean look at the rim. Plus the angles that he takes are very subtly difficult to deal with. Even though it looks like that defender could just speed up, cut him off, and get in front of him once again, it's just not that easy when Luca is ever so slightly in front of them. He's always trying to find that advantage to sneak slightly in front of that defender, which makes it tough for them to get around. One of the biggest things to realize is, look, Luka is not the fastest, right? He's not slow, but he's having a hard time beating a center here. Most players will counter that by speeding up even more to 110%, and most times getting out of control. But what does Luka do? He goes even slower, so he actually uses that slower speed to his advantage and slows down slightly, which gives him some breathing room. Another way he uses these slower speeds to his advantage is by consistently slowing down with this hang and using that to buy time to make decisions. No rush here, just feeling out what opportunities are there, all while being in a pretty good position to work out of. Again, most players don't feel comfortable moving or especially dribbling this slow, so they may miss out on this tool. In terms of jumpers, his set point is literally above his head, and no one's blocking a 6'7 guy with this set point. So he's gotten really good at understanding this, and as a result, taking his time to get it off. He's never rushing, almost moving slow motion. Do I suggest this for everyone? No, but it does give him an advantage. And theoretically, moving at slower speeds buys time to perceive the defense. If you're entering a busy freeway at 90 miles per hour, you're not gonna have as much time to see and avoid other cars, compared to if you're entering at 40 miles per hour more safely. It may get you there a little bit faster, but in basketball, is it really worth the risk? This, paired with an amazing feel for everything that's going on around him, allows him to be extremely slow and almost vulnerable to those quick moving defenders. It's like a car that automatically senses the position of everything around it. It'll never crash regardless of speed because it has the ultimate feel of its surroundings. It also helps that Luca is very comfortable working with the defender essentially in front of him. So he's not in a rush at all times to outrun them. Number one, he's strong enough to control his space here and use his size and protective ability to get moving towards the basket without being in front and even create some separation with his body. And even more importantly, he's able to find solutions and knock down these shots with the defender in front of him. Little runner or floater shots where he either decelerates and lets them pass or he just uses his body and raises up. And speaking of these runners, these open up this slow style of play in another way too. When you're attacking that big man for a layup, you probably need a little bit more of a head of steam, right? More speed into that jump equals more explosive ability, and therefore a better chance to score. At least most time. On these floaters though, most players are more comfortable at slower speeds. So Luca feels more comfortable maneuvering the court slowly as he's looking to find these, which he actually shoots as almost 20% of his shots. So between all of these, he's really, really, really good at just playing at these kind of slow speeds, which is again, extremely impressive. As always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more like this.